Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ask Dr. Mike segment here on Facebook. Uh, today's question comes from Carly and Carly says, when kids or anyone for that matter are being treated for something, does their attitude and perspective on the situation affect the outcome? Can mind really triumph over matter? Many scientists truly believe in it. Others say it's just a bunch of baloney. Uh, what do you think? Uh, well, thanks for the question, Carly. Uh, you know, it depends on the problem. The mind certainly can affect our physical health. Uh, when we get anxious, heart rate and blood pressure increase. Uh, we can use relaxation and biofeedback to help with tension headaches, anxiety, uh, sometimes functional abdominal pain. Uh, and I think attitude does play a role when we're ill. You know, whether we uh, are talking about an acute illness or a chronic disease. So there is a mind-body uh, connect. Now, does that mean you should rely on your mind every time you are sick? Of course not. Uh, human disease is caused by a malfunction or dysfunction involving specific body systems. Uh, and in many cases, we have a clear understanding of the underlying dysfunction. And we have evidence-based methods for correcting that dysfunction. Uh, in other words, we diagnose a disease and we treat it. Uh, in other cases, we understand the disease, uh, but we know there's not much you can do other than treating the symptoms. And this is why you see a doctor to help you figure out what the problem is and what, if anything, you can do about it. So I don't believe that mind triumphs over matter, uh, at least not in most cases, uh, but mind definitely affects matter. And uh, that's an important consideration during any acute or chronic illness. Uh, again, thanks for the question, Carly. And for the rest of you, thanks for joining in. We'll see you next time on Ask Dr. Mike.